What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video. I'm going to be showing you how you can create our very first portfolio using Google Sites. Now, Google Sites is an amazing place to create a web page to include um, a portfolio. Uh, this is totally for free. I mean, we don't have to actually invest into anything but into our own portfolio items. So if you go into sites.google.com after you have signed it into your Google account, you can go into the gmail.com and then you can just sign it in. As you can see, I'm already in here. So go into sites.google.com and you should be seeing something like this. So as you can see, we do have a template gallery. We have the blanked one, the portfolio that appears in here, an event, help center, project, and a team. We have more stuff here that you can use if you don't want to, to um, check it out how it works here. For example, if you want to create a portfolio, we have a portfolio for a photo, we have a portfolio for like this personal portfolio, or we have a portfolio for a student portfolio. So um, you can choose whatever template you wanted to. In my case, I do love to start from scratch, and then later I can just drag uh, as many blocks as I wanted to. But um, since we are just going to be focusing on the templates, scroll all your way down and find the student portfolio. Because I believe this one is actually like really, really complete. So it's going to be generating the social media link here of the student portfolio. So if you scroll, go into Got It, and you scroll a little bit down, this is all the elements that appears into your own portfolio. Now, if I go into Publish, uh, here's going to be asking what is the name of your address. So I can uh, strongly suggest you to input here your your name. So you're going to be creating something like this. Hit into published. And just like that, your site is going to be published. So I'm going to hit into view. And as you can see, here's my custom URL of sites.google.com. And this is my portfolio. And as you can see, it's totally functional. If I go into activities, it's going to appear in something like this. If I go into classes, it's going to be appearing something like this. And if I go into home, that as well. So what I need to do now in order to start working here so I can make the edit section, because we already have a link created totally for free, I'm going to click into the X mark and I'm going to go back here into the edit section. So for example here, what I want to do is to go into pages. And here, as you can see, we do have three different pages that we just saw into the very website that we created. So we have the home section. I want to get started here. So I'm going to type my portfolio. And you can type, let's say, for example, like the 2023. If you don't like the text, you can just click all of that. Hit into the Roboto. And I can choose other text if I wanted to. Let's say, for example, this one. Or choose something a little bit more professional. Like, I don't know, maybe Nido or going to go a little bit up and choose this one and hit into light. There we go. So it actually looks really, really great. If you want to change even the color, you can do that. You can do so much more than that. Let's say, for example, white color. And lastly, I just want to change the, let's say, the image. So uh, in my case, I'm going to hit into change image and I'm going to go into upload. So there's actually two ways that you can use images. If I have an image that I wanted to use, I can just drag and drop. But if not, what I can strongly suggest to you is to click into select. And here you do have the option to copy and paste an image that you saw into the internet. For example, here's a gallery by URL, the searched on your own very albums and the Google Drive. So in my case, I'm going to go into cancel. And what I want to do is to actually delete my image. I'm going to hit into upload. And I'm going to go into my downloads and I'm going to select the latest image that I just selected. And I'm going to be use that for my actual uh, background. So there we go. So as you can see, um, I used to have a text here into the upper side, and now I don't see that. So if I go into the insert section, you might see that you can uh, try to move your own stuff here as you want to do. But if you don't see the actual title anymore, you don't have to worry about that. Just hit into text box. And this text box, you can move that in the upper side. In my case, I think that this one actually it's not enabled yet. So I'm going to close. I'm going to hit into my portfolio once again, 2023. And then you just can start to design as we were just doing that before. Once again, I'm going to input here the same text. I'm going to input the same title, the same font, and the same uh, uh, size of the of my text. 
So now that we have filled that, what you want to do is to use start to edit your own text, your own, I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, what you want to do says about me, let's say meet me. And here you want to import your information. I'm going to try to change the same title font as I just did before. So I'm going to type this one, I'm going to hit into light and there we go. And then we do have the achievements, traits and goals. So for example, here, I don't want to leave into, let's say, um, you want to go into the cinematic uh, field or let's say folder. And here I do have a uh, filmic folder. I have the photo folder and here I have the music folder like this. <laughs> There we go. So lastly, as you can see, we do have this element. If I clicked in here, you can select that image, whatever I wanted to. So I just want to focus into linked or into Google images. And I want to look out for a music uh, portfolio image. And I'm going to look out for something that can be really accessible for my actual, let's say this one, I can choose select this one. And there we go. So it's going to be imported right away. So I can have my photo build it, and I can do so much more that we were just creating. So lastly, guys, I uh, just want to focus into we're going to get into photo um, template portfolio like that. Photo portfolio. I'm going to hit into back once again. I'm going to hit into Google Images photo template portfolio. So once you've finished customizing your your custom uh, portfolio, custom website, in my case, I think that speaking about photos, I think I'm going to just look out for this one. This is just an example, so I don't want to focus a lot into the very image. Um, we've just finished this section, right? So what I want to do is to course clicking here and hit into review changes and published. So this is how it's going to be looking my draft. And this was the currently published. So I just want to make sure that everything is now inside the actual term. Everything is where it has to be, right? So for example, the, if I go now into publish, I just want to go into view. And there we go. So here's my portfolio now updated. So um, lastly, what I just need to do is to just start to edit the next section of classes and activities. So here I'm going to go back here into Google Sites, go into my pages and here into classes, I can edit this one and I can change the name of this uh, text of this actual page. So for example, here I want to uh, type contact and here I want to type, let's say portfolio, portfolio like that. And then I can just start to edit. So on and on. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started here into Google Sites and creating your own very portfolio totally for free, which is I th which I think is a really amazing tool. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Hopefully this was very useful for you. So with that being said, I'll see you next time.